You know, if I had a gun store, I'd want the talk of a gun ban going almost 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 years, till I sold my store or died. That sells a lot of guns. And all these people that creates the majority of gun owners, <clears throat> they give up some wealth to buy guns, expecting all these people that they look at that are selling them to be on their side. When I'm not so sure if they're not just kind of like a borderline. Yeah, we like hearing about it. We don't want it done because we lose sales, but we'll sell something else. I don't know, you know. I'm just weary. This is making me really weary of anybody in the gun industry. It is. I mean, it's, uh, I'm not worried about it before. But, I don't, I didn't figure I had much say in it. Still don't. But I'm going to voice my opinion anyway because I got a phone. <clears throat> so, what I'm saying, it's a bunch of collusion going on. Now, it might not be physical, it might not be verbal, but there might be an energy of, uh, you know, as long as this doesn't happen, we're okay with this, you know. And then they pull that out like a bug's gut when they throw a law that they pass. But then, you know, in 10 years, they're thinking, well, if I'm still in business in 10 years and they repeal this, they repeal a gun law like they did for the, what, the 1986 or whatever it was, uh, gun law they started working on in the early 70s. To get rid of uh, the uh, AR-15. <clears throat> so what I'm thinking is any any inkling, you give them an inch, which is anything, because they'll stretch it out. They'll take the mile, you know, and then you're. Uh, but they're, you know, they're thinking, well, if we stay in business for 10 years, you're going to have a glutton. And they, and then they repeal the, the gun, the gun ban or whatever they're going to try to do. Well, they're, they're going to say, well, you know, and this is going to get everybody to comply. Well, you know, you can keep what you have. You just can't buy no more. Or you can keep what you have. You can't buy no more. And you can't take them to the range. You can't. You can't have them in public, you know, something like that. What, what is it going to be? A band, you can't take them to the range. A band that uh, you can't buy them. Buy, a band you can't sell them. And then they just want you to comply. Well, it's just another new law. You know, it's just, this is 2020. And this is just, a, you know, probably happening in 2021. This is just some new 2021 compliance. It's not really that big a deal. You get to keep all your other guns. You know, that's what they're that's what they're acting like. The hell with these people. This is infringement. This 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 whole any law that goes against the Constitution that tries to rewrite the Constitution that has anything to do with uh, changing any amendment or anything of the Constitution is infringement, and that's tyranny. And it's beyond, it's freaking beyond tyranny that they've been doing it for this long. This many years. I mean, how many years did, uh, did, uh, the forefathers, you know, they, did, uh, Washington and all them say, oh, you know, this is, uh, this is ridiculous. You know, we're just constantly paying tax. And I'm not sure who started it. I'm not sure who started the argument. Probably somebody who got sick of paying taxes. Probably somebody that one of the biggest taxpayers, you might look that up, might be in the history book. Might find out he was a guy that started the whole, got sick of paying taxes. That's usually how it is. Some elitist says, man, I'm just tired of this. I want my money, you know? And that's what these government, this government, they just, <clears throat> they're taxing. They're, they're just everything they, they don't want you to have. 
<clears throat> cigarettes, alcohol. They're you know they're going to tax it. Say well it's going to go for uh, this that, or the other. You know children's schools or children's playground or children's protection. They're going to say something, and you're going to say oh okay well if it's a tax for this well if it's a tax. I'm sick of taxes. I'm sick of their laws. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of government. You know, I can take I can take order. I don't mind order. I like order because nobody's messing up stuff. But I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna deal with this constant freaking every freaking day I wake up and all it's on the it's all the it's all is talked about and that's all the and I'm wondering who's pushing this. Is it the candidates pushing it? You know, because they're not going to push it every day. They'll just wait for taxes. They don't have to. They don't even have to argue. They just get it started and they just let it circulate, and it collects like a snowstorm, like a flurry blowing through everybody. Some people get cold, cold against it. Some people warm up to it. It melts, turns into a flood, and uh, they measure the depth and they see what they can do with it. And then they think, well, could we tax this depth of this? Or do you think we able to hold off? And then they just wait another year. And then it's it's then they infringe something else. So they'll, they'll do something. You know, we don't need no more laws. We got enough laws. What they need to do is start taking laws off the books that aren't needed, that are double laws, that are just they're 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 there to, you know, because uh you got all these uh elitists, they find a loophole to make more money. And they gotta, they gotta, they gotta circle the, circle the loophole with a bunch of wrinkles, you know, so that they can, so they can say, well, you can't, you don't really want to go in there. That kind of stinks, and, uh, you know, and they're they're taxing they, all these l loophole uh, wrinkles. They're taxing that, or they're doing something that are making all these wrinkles to one big, one big problem. So. I don't I don't know where where does compliance become tyranny, you know? I mean, what at what point do the forefathers say, "Hey, we complied with this. They're taking this, they're taking that." I mean, do we have to go do we have to go to a a king's ransom out of our paychecks or out of our whenever we spend money? I'm paying absorbent amount of freaking uh, property tax absorb they just raised our freaking uh sales tax here i'm freaking sick of it everything's going up everything is just escalating out of freaking range because everybody's just greedy and nobody's saying stop who used to say stop there's somebody used to be around that used to say stop but nobody's saying it and there's there's that there's it needs said it needs said Problem is, if there was one guy saying it, he must have been an elitist, or he must have, he must there was somebody up there that had a law. And now you know what? Somewhere along the line, somebody died, and there was probably a book of how to control government with not blackmail, but just using legitimacy to run against discrepancies against their illegitimacy. Of passing something or forcing something or trying to push something. This is getting ridiculous. There's nothing happening on on the side of the citizenry. It's all just, I mean, you, they go up and they, you know, they say, oh, okay, there's some people out front of our, they're protesting. The only things, the only thing, the only thing I've noticed to get laws passed are destructive behavior. You know, a couple of rallies where people are walking around with guns and they're saying you know they're saying oh we don't want this law and of course there's states they go to the states that you know the representatives are probably friendly who 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 knows who's controlling this i think it's all i think it's all there's a collusion going on just to give people it's i think what's going on right now is they're giving all these things to give people you know you know, a chance. They're going to say, well, we gave these, you know, they keep giving illegitimacy or they keep, they keep giving legitimacy to illegitimacy, like uh, homosexuals getting married. Uh, and they needed a law for that. 
you know, I, I didn't, I, I didn't know, I didn't know it mattered, you know, before, but now we have to think about it. Now they got some sort of rights where they can almost, you know, it's, it's, I mean, look at it. They're, they're just imposing. They're, they're going, they're making themselves a threat. Like, uh, uh I don't know. What is, what's a simple, a simple, uh, sin alcohol, you know, but that's, that's basically, people say, well, alcohol does this to your liver and that, and that, and the other. It's, it's stuff you can't see. You know, they're like pornography. Okay, pornography does it. If you look at, if you look at whatever, this is going to do this to you and that to you. And people say, well, not really. Because, you know, you can't see that happening. It'll happen to those people. But those people are whatever, you know, for whatever reason. It's just, uh, they're using, uh, legitimacy or ill I don't know you know it's they're they're trying to make illegitimacy legitimate and they're trying to say this is okay it's not okay it's freaking weird I mean there's you don't see animals I mean okay every once in a while you'll see whatever two male dogs or whatever doing whatever you know but you don't see that that's not a constant thing throughout the animal kingdom and basically we are here from animals so they're what they're what's what's happening there is they're psychologically trying to control a mass population the homosexuals are trying to control a mass population so that they can have a legitimate voting mass and it's the people that that always felt uh you know they felt like uh, they were a minority and they are because it's you know it's not a it's not a natural thing i don't i i could figure out where it came from and i think i already i think i've done a something on a video maybe some somewhere but th this is uh everything's everything is for uh they, it's basically the rape of the mind of children and infants and and uh, embryos to create more people for uh, whatever reason. For if it's if it you know, and it is it's it's uh, psychologically we're all on the same planet. We're not in some storybook farm farm retail magazine that where where we just walk through pages. We're on a freaking planet in outer space. And whether you want to believe that any of this kind of stuff exists, I'm not talking like, I'm, of course, planets can magnetically control us, and it might affect uh, a thought to some people in, in a certain uh, attitude that they, if they might be in an attitude, or it might influence their attitude, or whatever. But it might not affect everybody because maybe some are have a, a goal, and so the ones that don't have goals are easily affected. Because they're, uh, you know, it could be a flippant and, and they're, and they're, they got sensors out like little bugs and they're, any kind of change is going to freak them out. Instead of being like a rhinoceros where they're just eating freaking uh, leaves off a thorn bush, you know. Yeah, my lip might be bloody, but I got some good taste in leaves. And I'm going to go over here to this water hole and drink some water. Or they're just some little bug freaking around, or, or you know, some little animals scurrying around because they're always eating, you know, like a ground squirrel or something. You know, they're always <laughs> because there's always something swooping down to eat them, and so they're all freaky. And instead of a, oh, God, this this video just went nowhere.